So welcome back to Grey Goose Restorations, the home of Katectronic on YouTube. Now, like I always say, anyone got any problems, bang them in the comments. I can make a video for you, you know, help things out. So on KE Jetronic, this is what we focus on today. I've had quite a few questions over the you know, few months, blah, 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 of the actual differential pressure and how to set it. Um, one of the other videos done a while back, going over it, um, there was a few comments on it. I've watched the video back and it didn't emphasize as much on differential. So what we're gonna do, we've got typical RS Turbo unit because it's there. Um, on test, um, just rebuilt it, all ready to rock and roll. Um, the differential pressure is fine on that, but as that's fine, I'm going to show you what it is. Um, I'm going to show you how to take it off, you know, and I'm going to over exaggerate the adjustment. So I'm going to turn it, you know, a quarter of a turn anti clockwise, and we'll see the difference. And then a full sort of, you know, 180 degrees the other way and back to where we should be, just to emphasize which way changes what we want and now again our magic number is between system pressure and differential pressure between the two halves is 0 0.4 bar that's what we're working for so we'll go over there i'll show you what we've got now and we'll pull that off adjust it and show you again see you in a minute so let's look at the gauge what we've got now the tap is open so that has given us our system pressure so we have got on this one six bar if you notice how quick if you watch previous videos how quick KE Jetronic gets sealed system pressure. So that's residual now. Boom. That's because the fuel pressure actually goes straight through the fuel distributor to the pressure regulator before it gets there. And now we'll do close the tap. Now we're looking at differential pressure. Slightly slower. We're at 5.6 bar, which is 5.6 and 6 bar. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our point four. So let's pull the pressure differential off and adjust it. So the pressure differential is this black box down here, or grey, or whichever colour. Now you'll either have a flathead on there, um, screws, or you'll have torques. And if they're torques, a T25. Now we've got system pressure in this, so when you crack this off, you know fuel is going to spray out. Now. If you're taking this off first time, put new seals on the back of it, it should be good. And these screws also are anti-magnetic screws. Um, so don't round them off because huh, you'll have some problems. So all you want to do, you know, I've got rag, a tray under this. If you're in the car, put a rag around it. I just cracked them off. And all I'm going to do is just move them off slowly, slowly. Pressure should start leaking off soon. There you go, little tsh. So we know that's there. Again, and I'll just... See, that's quite loose now at the moment, but on my gauge, I've still got 2.2 bar in there. So again, we'll just wiggle it a little bit more. Again, I'm using a calibrated test fluid, so if this sprays over it, it's not exactly flammable. On your car, you've got some petrol in there. So just be cautious of what you're doing. Again, there's quite a bit of wiggle on there, so you can see how compressed the O-rings get in there. Um, when it's at, there you go. So we're dribbling out now. So we just let that dribble out until it's finishing. So we're dribbling out a little bit of spray. Turns into a lot of spray. Again, I'm not too worried on that. This isn't flammable liquid. If you're on your car, just be very wary of what you're doing. I take no responsibility of anyone's car bursting into flames if you're using this. So like I say, hopefully if you're doing this, you're switching on enough to know not to uh, have a fag out your mouth while doing this. So undo those, you pull it off. Two seals will probably stay inside there. So this is the back of it. Obviously we have an inlet and outlet, little filter in there which can get blocked. So a flathead. Now I will warn you, be careful with these because this thread, as you'll see in a minute, is so fine. If you um, damage a thread, you're not you're not fixing it. I'll put a picture in now of this thread 
you know, it, it doesn't even look like a thread note, it's so fine. So take that off, and we want a 2 mil Allen key. Now, we're going to first plop it in there, we're going to turn it half a turn clockwise, like so. Put this screw back in, I put it in my finger, and just use your finger, a bit of pressure, just till you can literally do what I'm doing now, you can screw it in with your finger. Don't force it, because once you uh, knack of that thread, you, you, you like I say, you're not repairing it. Just nip that up, and then put that back on in a reverse manner. So we've got this back on, so we'll have the tap open. System pressure should be six. Boop, happy with that. Close it and see what differential pressure we have. Five point four bar. So we've turned it in clockwise, half a turn, and we have dropped 0.2 bar of differential pressure. So now we're at 0 0.6 bar differential pressure, which we don't want. So now what we can do is take it off again and turn it 180 degrees and check it again. So again, we've got it off. Be gentle with this. Now we turned it in half a turn. So what I'm going to do now, make sure it's seated in there. So we're going to turn it out half a turn, back to where we were, and then turn it another half a turn. And again, walk this back in. Again, I'm just exaggerating the adjustments to show you what they do. There we go. You can feel it when it clicks in the thread. So let's put it back on test. So we've made the adjustment back to where we were, plus a bit more, just again to exaggerate the adjustments. Let's see what we are. We should be at six bar still. Yep. And then differential pressure. Point 0.7. So we've adjusted it, like I say, and uh, we're at 5.7 bar. Um, and six bar system pressure, so we're at 0 0.3 bar differential pressure, which is, I mean, yeah, the system probably worked, but do it be it perfect, you want 0 0.4 bar, so we'll just take it off again, we'll readjust it, and get it back where we should be. So we've adjusted it back to where it should be, so again, we'll check our system pressure. Six bar, happy with that. Differential pressure. 5.6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there is our 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is a magic number because that is the perfect split between them, That which then allows all the DPR, when it gets inputs from the car, to do what it should do. So there we go, that's our two seals we need on there. I don't know why half of them are different colours. Um, I'll swap these over once I've finished, um, adjusting it to where I want to. Um, with nice black ones because that's what we've got. But there you go, just for reference, that's the seals that need to be on there. So there we go, that is how you adjust the DPR, or Differential Pressure Regulator, on KE Jetronic units. Now, turning it clockwise, that increases the differential pressure. Anti-clockwise reduces it. So whatever you're at, you know, clockwise will increase it. Anti-clockwise will decrease it. Again, be careful on a car, because that's fuel, and it's under high pressure. And you can see how much pressure gets in those head units as quick as that. So there we go. I'll stick all the comments in the description. Um, again, this is another video where someone questioned it, or not questioned it, but asked, how do you um, adjust the differential pressure? That is how you do it. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.